Automatic door, please drive forward. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seagull on Speed 252. I hope you all had an awesome weekend and I hope you all have a great Monday as well. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm telling you right now, you will love to push that subscribe button. I would love to have you part of the community. Please push that bell button right beside us to you notification anytime I release a video and bring a new upload to the channel. We would love to have you. I truly do, as in all of us as a community, because the community is freaking great. Um, I had some good and bad news about my C7 Corvette today. As you all know, first time on the channel, this is my C7 Corvette. It is black chrome wrap right now with the chrome wheels on it. I took the black wheels off for the winter time, and that's a long story. I got to take some information about that as well. You and I got some issues with those wheels, so I want to let y'all know about that um, later on once I get those taken care of. Anyway, today's video is going to be a good and bad type of video, right? And this is sad too. Um, so as you all know, I went out of town to Chicago for about uh, two weeks ago and um, Maybe it was two weeks ago. Maybe it was three weeks ago. Anyways, I was out there visiting family and Right before we had right before I went to go to Chicago We had a couple of snow days and it didn't really cross my mind at all, you know, because I don't really have to winterize my vet And so before the snow days, I didn't drive it um, while it snowed I was I didn't drive because it, it was still snow and ice on the road and then right after that like literally I left to go to, to Chicago and so I get up to Chicago, spend time with family. As y'all know, I made a video about that. Um, I stayed a little bit longer than expected, but it crossed my mind one time, like maybe I should start my Corvette. And sometimes, well, in the past, I used to have the like uh, the, the OnStar app, right? Well, I had OnStar and I can start my car from the app. I don't know if I can actually um, start it from a distance like that, like in Chicago. But anyway, it really didn't matter if I had the app or not because my garage door was down and it was gonna be terrible for me to crank my car up. We may not be in here and not have anybody to uh, actually, you know, like oversee that. So anyways, one, it crossed my mind once like, oh, crap, it should be fine. I come back home to North Carolina. I get a text message from my friends as soon as I get up the plane. It's like, hey, um, we think about going for a drill ride today, going to grass for lunch or something. You want to join us? And I'm like, absolutely. So as soon as I get back home, before I even think about unpacking my bags, I said, let me crank the vet up. You know, I, I want to hear this thing, you know, smoking. I want to hear it. I want to hear the zoom, zoom. I'm, I'm trying to hear the course exhaust. It sounds good. So I go to my house, get my Corvette keys, and I push the lock button, and I push the start button. Nothing happened. I was like, no, that's all right. I just didn't push the button hard enough. That's all. So I pushed the start button, the lock button, push the start button again. Nothing happened. I said, no, nah, I, I can't. Nope. I, I can't believe it. Nope. I ain't believing it. I tried one more time, but I come outside in the garage. I pushed the lock button, pushed the automatic start button, nothing happened. I, it, not, n nothing happened. So I was just like, okay, the battery can't be dead. So one more time, everyone, I pushed the lock button, nothing happened, no tail lights, nothing, come on. I was like, oh man, this can't be happening to me. So I'm, I'm telling my boys, like, it might be a few minutes, I'm trying to figure out why my vet's not cranking. I think the battery's dead. Anyways, um, I didn't put on a battery tender because I'm, I'm usually able to drive my car once a week in this area. Like, I mean, even ask, you know, Mike, Mike was down here at the Outer Banks and he just said in a recent video, he was here um, and, and he had seven degree weather. So, and just yesterday it was 65 and I had the top off at like maybe five o'clock in the afternoon the sun was still going down. So here we are able to at least drive our cars once a week. If not automatic start it, let it sit in the garage for a few minutes, let it do its thing. I had an opportunity to do that while I was gone for the amount of time. And I feel like I, I don't want to have to buy a battery tender for that amount of time because two weeks shouldn't be long enough for your battery to be dead. But I also forgot about the snow days. And you know, going forward, I'm gonna be better prepared for that. If I have to get one, I'll get one. But right now I don't think I would need one because I at least drive my car once a week. Anyways, I wasn't worried about it. I was like, okay, the battery's dead. All I got to do is, you know, get into the trunk and I can go ahead and start it. Because for a lot of you that don't know, which I'll make another video about that someday, you can get into the trunk when your battery's dead and you can jump start your car from there. And you can go about your merry day. So key fob, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my little key fob right here. Yep, my little key fob right here. Within this key fob, there's a little key. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do this without having to, uh, there, there we go. So there's a little key, right? So I just pull my key out 
and all you got to do is, you know, there's a little, there's a little, um, little hole up underneath the trunk, but right where the license plate says that if your battery dies, you can stick this key in there and pop the trunk, get in there and, and jumpstart the car. Not a big deal, right? So <sighs> let me tell you this. I put this key in there. Nothing happens. Nothing freaking happens. I'm talking about like, I put this key in the hole. Nothing happens. I pop it. I turn it. Nothing. The trunk does not open. Jesus. Jesus. The one thing I need to get in my car to charge this battery or jump this car, it doesn't work. What am I supposed to do? This, now I'm not, I can't tell you speak on the camera angle. So right here, there's this little, oops, just hit my course as off. There's this little, now put your key in this hole type of thing right here, right? So it's, it's, in, it's in the hole. You can see it's in the hole. Now watch this. None happens. Now my car just made a clicking noise as if it registered that I was trying to pop my trunk, but nothing happens. Nope, none happens. Let's try this one more time. One more time for the gold tank. Come on now, let's get in there. Yeah. This key is kind of iffy. One last time. Nope, nothing happened. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I don't know what really to do. I, I, that, that's what that's all I know. So I'm on Google, I'm on YouTube trying to figure out if there's another way to get inside this car. Everybody says that one way, the trunk. Everybody else video, everybody else that was actually performing that same method in the videos, their trunk was coming up. Mine wasn't. I was traumatized. I was just like, what am I about to do now? This is about to go down. So I tried this thing a million times. I tried jumping, not jumping, literally jumping on the trunk, but I tried like pushing down on it, hoping it would pop up or something. Nothing happened. So I called my boys like, hey, I might have to miss lunch today because you know how my check-ins and savings account work is I had to move money from my check-ins to my savings. I had to move money back to my savings just to go to, no, I'm kidding. That's another Kevin Hart joke. Um, if you don't get it, you need to watch that skit. But anyways, um, so yes, I tried to, um, my best to get into the trunk. I couldn't do it. There was nothing I could do to get into the trunk. So I call OnStar, right? And I call OnStar and explain to the lady like, hey, my car, I'm locked out. The battery is dead. Is there any other way that you all may know of for me to get in my car? I try to explain to her like, don't try to send a signal that doesn't work. The battery is dead, right? She tries to send a signal three times and says, sir, I'm sorry, but you know, the signal didn't work. I said, ma'am, I kind of told you that it wouldn't work. I didn't want to waste your time, but I just told you the battery was dead. And, um, and so, you know, what the case may be, she tried to signal one more time. She wasn't listening. I let her ride. I'm sure she reading from a script. She's doing her thing. So I didn't pay any mind. At that point, I was already frustrated with the car, so I couldn't be frustrated with her. And so she sent me over to some other person, right? And they contacted me and said, hey, did she try a signal? I was like, yes, but it didn't work. So then she tried a signal too. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to let you do your thing. I'm not going to tell you if you want to do it and try a signal. She said the same thing. Like, sorry, the signal didn't work. Um, your battery's dead. Well, I told the lady that the first time. She said she's going to relate it to you. But oh, well, it's no big deal. It's just a Corvette. You know, I'm not going to be mad about it. The battery's dead. I already told them. They tried to figure out the method. So she said, like, I'll call some, some person and whoever it was, and they'll come take a look at it. They said, uh, you know, he'll try his best to get in there. So he comes, you know, to my house and he gets here. He says, oh, I get into the car for you. No problem. No big deal. We'll get this thing started. Right. He said, where's your key? I said, my key's in my pocket. He said, you know, put it in the trunk and open the trunk. I was like, it doesn't work. That's what I was trying to tell them on the phone that it, it's broke. And so he said, nah, I'm, I'm going to get it open. I'm going to get in there. So he used the key. Didn't work. So then, <laughs> luckily for me, I left my windows cracked. I usually do that. I don't know why. But I did. So that day he was like, oh, we're we'll getting here no problem. So he kept looking and looking and was like, oh, I don't know exactly how we're going to get in here. And he was kind of upset himself. I was like, listen, sir, I'm kind of upset. I don't need you to be upset. Don't don't make me upset because you're upset because I'm trying. We both trying to get into the car. So he pulled out this little green long leverage thing and realized that he can pop the door manually. But I didn't have anything to reach the door manually. So I'm glad he had that thing. So he missed it a couple of times. But eventually I flashed the light on it. He was pop the door. So still at this point, I'm thinking like, man, okay, now we can get into the trunk. I forgot the battery is dead, so I couldn't pop the trunk from the uh, from the inside. So I popped the hood, and then we was able to release um, the hood and actually automatically start the car from the front. 
And I can show you all that in a later video how he actually did that. If that ever has happened to you, you can't get into your trunk. So we automatically start the car from the trunk. Um, we jump the car from the front, and voila, I was super excited for it. And you know, I let it ran. I drove it for maybe like 30, 40 minutes. It still sounded like it didn't want to crank up, but over time, it finally came back to what it was before. At the end of the day, that was some good and bad news, right? I mean, bad news that the battery's dead, but it was even bad news that the freaking trunk was broken. The leverage thing wouldn't open. The good news, we got it started. So I'm gonna make a video at some point explaining all that maybe once again, so you all, it's just in case it all happened to you, or maybe this video might be enough, to check your trunk. If you got a C7 or a C6, pull your key out, go check it and make sure it pops up right now because you don't wanna get into a situation where most of y'all are winterizing your car if you don't have it on a battery tender and you try to get in there and it doesn't open. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head to the dealership because I made an appointment today to get this thing fixed. Let's hope they can fix this as well because it's a simple fix. I'm hoping they may have to take all the bumper off. Who knows? Um, so let's go ahead and get to the dealership because they are waiting on me. But I want to make this quick upload for you all who has a C7 Corvette and hasn't went around. So that's the perfect reason to have a battery tender. So without further ado, let's get to the dealership. C7 Z06, I mean, well, I wouldn't say C7 Z06, I don't know why I said Z06 earlier. C7 Grand Sport, maybe I'm just thinking about the Z06s. The C7 body styles are so freaking amazing. People ask me what I ever think about selling this car, and I find it really hard to do so because this body style is just insane. I was gonna drive this bad boy in now because I don't know why all these other cars are sitting out here, but let's go ahead and get this bad boy through the doors. Automatic door, please drive forward. So let's go ahead and get this thing checked in again because we didn't do it for minutes ago. They wanted me to bring the car inside. All right, it is off. I stole the Lambo doors up. Some people love it, some people don't. But I can tell you one thing I love them a lot. Man, amazing. that wall over there this is the Corvette pretty much dashboard inside of a Stingray C7 Corvette pretty cool that it actually put this on the wall I'm sure a lot of you already know that is Corvette Stingray what's going on man it's one of the awesome technician that works here pretty cool guy he got some Corvette too <clears throat> So after that, I dropped the car off. The car is now checked in. Um, thank you for pushing that play button. I will let you know the results and the update on the car once I get it back from the dealership on whether or not they had to fix it um, by taking a bumper off or whether it was a simple fix. I'm hoping to try to get in there and kind of record some of it if I can possibly do that um, in my schedule today. But if not, I will let you know the update about this. Um, once again, thank you for pushing that play button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. All my social media stuff is down below. The Facebook, the Instagram, and YouTube at Speed 252 I look forward to catching another episode. 